Buying a 3D printer in 2025, it's much easier than just a couple of years ago. It's actually it's the same things what happened, let's see, 25 years ago, when the first CD writers came out, yeah? You had an old computer, I mean, that time it was new, and uh, you decided to want to copy some files, but the hard drives were very small. So you decided to buy a CD writer. And it cost almost a monthly income. But in a couple of years, the price is up down. Now this is happening with the 3D printers today. Today you can pick up a 3D printer for 100 quid. I'm not saying that's a good idea, but you can. Let's see what our options are, all right? For around 200 pounds, you can get a US Prusa printer. Prusa is made in Europe, and it's a much better quality than these cheap Chinese printers. Um, what does it mean? You get better quality, probably, probably, not always, but also you get customer support when you need some parts. These are still, still available, even when they finish the manufacturing process. After five years, you can get all the parts what you need. And because it's open source, until now, unfortunately, this is about the old push-up printers, uh, you can modify them, you can add new features, and also they are developing um, for a long time as well. This printer is third one guy for around three to five years and after I booked it and it served me another four years, nine years lifetime. And uh, we had upside downs, but the customer service always helped me out.